why penetration gap in health insurance thank you argus uh, channel for inviting me because this is such an important topic to be discussed that health is one of the necessities as somebody was telling in the morning ki argya mera right hai it is a birth right that i have to be healthy so the channel argus channel really you have taken a very momentous decision to organize this and this topic is so relevant in today's world because by 2047 along with dikshit bharat our prime minister has said that we should have an ird along with that ird is a insurance regulatory body they have said insurance for all that is we should have a 100% penetration of insurance by 2047 now today we stand at 2024 so we will be surprised to know that india now has only 4% penetration is insurance and especially in the rural areas there is hardly any healthcare facility and the insurance that is available so coming to nilima your question ki why there is a gap in the rural healthcare system so the reasons if we see that is very similar to what we have in the urban system first of all the doctors availability next comes whether the proper diagnostic centers are there the doctor comes he prescribes certain uh, uh, diagnostics and then the medicines so the availability of the proper diagnostic center and lastly the availability of the essential medicines now all these three if you see together how it culminates that the patient doesn't get the right treatment in the right time this is the main thing that is happening in the urban areas in the cities in the metro cities and in the tier one cities there are hospitals but in rural because of all these three factors the patient is not getting the right treatment in the right time so if you further analyze down ki what are the basic reasons for which all these are happening number one is that there is no proper infrastructure that is the primary healthcare centers are there most most of the centers there are doctors but not proper trained people the trained nurses and the trained support staff is not there the essential medicines that is required that is not there proper infrastructure is not there means that there is no proper ambulance also to take the patient to the next nearest city and also many a times it happens that there are diagnostic center but equipment hai but equipment chalta nahi hai so these are the main things that are to be addressed and again if you drill down ki why this is happening that is because there is no sufficient fund insufficiency of the regular fund that is causing all these things and another important statistics that i would like to all of you know that how much that government give towards the medical cost government gives 21% of the total gdpi towards the medical cost and how much is the percentage that the patient be it rural be it urban how much they have to spend how much they have to spend for out of pocket hospitalization when they don't have insurance or when it is beyond the cover that he has it is for india it is close to 50 and if you see orissa it is close the highest is in up 71% here it is around 60% so there is an utmost need to see that how there can be other situations which will help like insurance which will help to sustain the economic growth because of this high cost of hospitalization and out of pocket expenses the statistic shows that last year almost 6 crore people have moved towards the poverty line below poverty line because they had to spend behind this healthcare matlab aapka kehna hai ki proper guidance aur ek jo funding aur ek proper infrastructure ki bhi zarurat hai hum log ko the most important thing which i missed to tell actually is the awareness where the media can play a very important role बिकॉज लोगों के पास जानकारी भी नहीं है अगर अवेलेबिलिटी भी है फिर भी लोगों के पास जानकारी नहीं है कि कहाँ जाना है क्या करना है सो दैट अवेयरनेस इज ऑल्सो वेरी मच रिक्वेड जदि आपंक आम भिडी भल लगला तेब चेल्क लाइक सेयार और सब्सक्राइब करने को जमा भी बुलां